everyone and welcome back to Crafts with Cassidy. I'm here with Lucy. Lucy and today we're making this cute heart that goes along with a verse that I'll explain later but before we get started all you're gonna need is different pieces of paper one to cut out in the heart and then once to fill it in it can be different it can be the same color um, a marker or a pencil or anything to write the verse with and then glue for the paper at the very end and scissors of course to cut the heart shape but that's all you're gonna need so let's get started so this is one that I already started earlier and as you can see we have to cut out a heart first if you've never done that it's very simple what color paper do you want I think purple purple okay so to cut out a heart, or at least the way I do it, is you're going to get your paper and you're going to fold it in half hamburger style. I don't know if you've ever heard that. There's hamburger and there's hot dog. It doesn't really matter. But you're going to fold it like a hamburger. You're going to make sure it's even. Thank you. And the reason you fold it in half is because you're going to cut half the heart. And then once you unfold it, it'll be the full heart. And you'll see what I mean. So you're going to go in. Make sure it's like a book and this, the side that's not open is on your left and you're going to cut it and make it kind of look like an ice cream. As you can see, it makes a pretty little heart. So you can see that we put different colors in here. So the way we did that is you're going to cut slices in the heart but you're not gonna go all the way down. Like, you're not gonna cut it all the way. You're gonna stop about an inch, half an inch away from the side. And you also don't wanna start too high up because you're gonna wanna be able to write the letters everywhere. So, you're gonna cut the Lucy, and you're just gonna go about half an inch down, cut. You want about just a little space between each line. You're going to keep going. And you can keep it going as long as you want. As you can see, this doesn't go all the way down, which makes it a lot easier. But if you want to go all the way down, you can, of course, I think that's good. So this is what it looks like. It kind of looks pretty normal but there's these slivers in it. So now we have to cut the pieces of paper that we want to go in between. But you're just gonna get your normal paper and cut them, and then you will shape it to the heart after you cut them. So now we all have our slivers and our hearts. So now we're gonna do the weaving in between. So how you do that is, for the first one, you can either start going over, under, or you can go, sorry, you can either start going under, over, or over, under. But whichever one you do for the first one, you do the opposite for the second one and you continue that pattern. So, you're going to go over this, under this slit, over this one, under this one, all the way down. going to want all of them to end on the same side so as you can see in this demonstration they all were flat on this side because you're going to glue it so as you can see there's four in this row five in this row four in this row so whichever one you start going under that one will have less but it's going to look good and you just want them all to be ending on one side if you can see what I'm yeah because then you're going to glue them down and so on the front, you won't be able to tell that they go all the way. You're doing really good. So, this is my ending cross 
but the most important part and my favorite part is the verse that you're going to put on it, which is 1 John 4, 21. And it says, and this commandment we have from him, whoever loves God must also love his brothers. Which is just a great reminder that if we love God and we're going to proclaim that we love him and he's our father, then we must love others and show God's love through our love for others. So, I'm going to write that on my cross. And then I also have a challenge for you guys today. And I'll tell you about it after I'm done. Okay, so I finished writing mine. Again, it's 1 John 4.21 and it says, In this commandment we have from him, whoever loves God must also love his brothers. Which... I don't know if all of you know this, but when he says brothers, he doesn't just mean like your actual brothers or sisters, but your brothers in Christ, which is everyone, which I know sometimes it's hard to love even your real brothers when they're annoying you, but God says that we must love all. So I challenge you to just live your life loving others and showing God's love, but I also challenge you specifically today to once you've made this craft and made it really pretty, to go out and give it to a friend or a sibling or a parent and just tell them how much you love them and how much God loves them. Thank you so much for joining us today with this craft. It was really fun and it was just a great reminder and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please send us pictures of your heart to our email camp at campcrosspoint.org and you'll be entered in the drawing at the end of the week. We love you and we miss you so much and we'll see you next time. Bye!